It's an event that has all the hype and many of the elements of a motor race. But in this Plymouth AAA troubleshooting contest, the starter might yell, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, if you can. That's because all of the cars here are disabled, and the race winner is the first team to put the car back into working condition. But as in any motorsport, there's a lot at stake here. For Chrysler and AAA, it's a matter of preparing for the future. They hope to encourage high school students to learn more than just the basics and become better auto mechanics. For the students, there's the glory and over $100,000 in scholarships, plus trophies and equipment for their high school's auto shop. For 1986, the competitors worked their way to the mall in Washington, D.C., just a hop, skip, and a fan belt away from the Capitol. The road to Washington started with local high school competitions, then regional and state championships. Then each state sent their best two-person team to the national championship. So these 100 competitors are America's best aspiring mechanics. To make sure they all had a fair chance at getting here, the companies that sponsor the event paid the expenses of all the competitors. Everything was free, from airfare and hotels to tools and t-shirts. The contest has two parts. In the main event, all 50 teams compete to find out who can fix the cars in the shortest time and with the best quality. The goal isn't to produce fast mechanics, but mechanics who will do the job right the first time. For this contest, Plymouth provided 50 identical Reliant sedans, each with the same six mechanical, electric, and electronic problems. The teams have 90 minutes to find and repair the cars. They get a complete selection of hand tools and repair manuals, as well as handheld diagnostic equipment. A judge supervises each team, gives them whatever parts they need, and keeps track of whether they asked for the wrong part. When the students are finished, they go for a test drive. They may return and make additional repairs, but if the car is okay, they drive to the final judging area. Here the car is checked to see what the students might have missed. Their time and quality of work are then combined into a final score. The judging is so meticulous that teams even lose points for not wearing their seatbelts. But there's more to this contest than just fixing one car. The competitors also take a written exam. And each mistake on the exam adds 18 seconds to the team's overall time. So a poor score there can knock a team right out of the running. For this 1986 competition, Frank Rogers and Robert Rupert of Morro Bay High School in California had the winning total. They repaired their car in under 20 minutes and shared a $5,000 scholarship. Other teams finishing in the top 10 share trophies and one to $4,000 scholarships. Obviously, the winners have an incentive to learn more about repairing cars. But does the troubleshooting contest really give us better mechanics? Well, consider this. All the young men and women involved have to learn to be very good just to make it to the national championship. And winners or not, they get job placement assistance from Plymouth and AAA. Since these contests began in 1949, 30,000 talented students have found auto service jobs as a result. So the Plymouth AAA troubleshooting contest has lots of winners. But maybe the biggest winners are the car owners who find one of these troubleshooters working in their local garage.